Hey guys, it's me, Nostalgia, and today I'm going to be reviewing the new Paranul album, After the Magic. In under two years, South Korean artist Paranul has climbed up the ranks to become one of my favorite artists of the 21st century with his DIY emo meets shoegaze sound. His 2021 breakthrough sophomore album, To See the Next Part of the Dream, is one of my favourite albums, not only of the last decade, but possibly of all time. It effortlessly topped its year-end list, despite some very strong competition, and it's one of my very few perfect tens, an accolade that I've only ever given to 21 albums. And since the release of that incredible project, Paranul has only continued to impress whether it be through his brilliant collaborative works with like-minded artists like Asian Glow, um, or through the white ceiling Black Dots Wandering Around EP, which I named EP of the Year last year. This steady stream of fantastic output has kept my excitement for his music fueled and um, definitely boosted my confidence that to see the next part of the dream wasn't just lucky lightning in a bottle, but rather a statement of intent from possibly the most exciting artist in shoegaze since the 90s golden era. After the Magic is Paranul's first solo studio album since To See the Next Part of the Dream, and immediately one question needs answering. Does it live up to expectations? Yes, it does. It brings forward all the aspects that I fell in love with on To See the Next Part of the Dream. Um, the, the hazy production, the, the life-affirming beauty that's found in that production, it, the deeply pained yet uplifting and optimistic emotion, um, the explosive and lush atmospheres. All of this sets the album on the right track immediately to win my heart over. However, the most striking thing about this album is how fresh, progressive and different it is from his sophomore album, um, despite still retaining all of those aspects I just mentioned. Paranu could have easily rode the wave from that previous album for another album, maybe two, uh, without it getting at all old or boring or tired, because the formula he had on that project was just that successful. Instead, he's injected his music with sounds, ideas, and influences that are completely new to him. This desire to progress and expand your sound, despite seemingly being on top of the world, is a surefire sign of a really good artist for me. Just look at what bands like Black Midi or Black Country Neuro did after releasing incredibly critically acclaimed debut albums and how that paid off for them. After the magic sees Paranul almost entirely put those angsty and raw and gritty emo aspects of his sound on the back burner in, in favour of something more grandiose, more experimental and oftentimes more dream pop centric while still retaining the introspective, the lonely, the sentimental emotions that made that album so special. I do think there is a bit of an indescribable magic and personal connection I have to his previous album's more angsty aspects um, that just I kind of wish were a little more present on this project, but I also wholeheartedly understand and <laughs> I'm on board with uh, the new direction and sound that Paranul has taken his music in, and in many ways I find it just as hypnotizing, just in a slightly different way. To see the next part of the dream, to me, felt like experiencing what could have been the greatest summer of your life from the inside of your desolate room, reminiscing on the love you have for years gone by, um, instead of looking forward for what the future and present might hold, while after the magic feels like the opposite, it feels like finding something to hold on to, something to love and accept about the present, while you float through its ever-changing and eclectic soundscapes. Both albums are amazing in their own right, and both are practically without fault. January, as always, has been quite slow for new releases, um, but the fact we've gotten an album of this uh, quality so early in the year really sets a, a precedent for whatever else this year has in store for us music-wise. Um, After the Magic is one of the best albums I've heard in the last decade. Its beauty is so hypnotic and dreamlike that words just simply fail to do it justice. Um, you just have to let it swallow you in its 
wall of noise in its emotion. Um, it, it's an incredible, incredible album. So I'm going to give a light to a decent nine to. So that's it for this review. What did you think of this new Paranormal album? Let me know in the comments down below. Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Do you agree with my opinion? Let me know down below. As always, this has been Nostalgia. Peace and love.